welcome back we are doing the recording of 29th of october's godly blessing now there are certain things in spirituality which we need to leave in our life it starts with lust as the biggest enemy and then anger and then greed and then ego and jealousy and many other things but then today supreme father is talking about anger and the small small subtleties of anger that means small kids of anger there are different portions to anger there are different aspects to anger different angles to anger in the form which we experience on a daily basis but we don't even recognize them some of them so let's explore what the supreme father have to say about lust and anger and other things godfather says may you bid farewell to lust the greatest enemy of brahmin life and also all of its companions and become completely pure now why is lust created as the biggest enemy or why is lust being spoken about as the biggest enemy and it's been spoken about the biggest enemy in majority of the scriptures but you pick up bhagavad gita you pick up guru granth sahib they have mentioned that lust is the greatest enemy now lust if you can understand is not just lust for another physical body is lust for even name and fame it can be lust for food it can be lust for clothes it can be lust for anything in this world which is physical in nature now when it comes to lust in person in between two people it's like you're sending across or you're giving away a part of your physical body a memory of the other person so your subconscious mind is connected this is your conscious mind but the subconscious mind which is taking care of your body becomes habituated of the other person's physical body and that's a memory which is very 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 difficult to get off with or get away with and that's why god says that during this kali yuga when you are changing your karmic accounts and you're facing them on a daily basis you're not going to be constant with one person right so it is very important to have a detached kind of a relationship not get involved into a physical form of a relationship which is going to leave an impact a memory or a scar on to you and that's going to be difficult to remove it remains as a memory not just in your mind but in your physical body once it enters your physical body it becomes difficult for it to be released it takes some time some years for it to go away so that's why it is very important for a brahmin or for somebody who's following a spiritual life to get rid of lust so let's go ahead and understand more in details god says just as you pay special attention in brahmin life to conquer lust the greatest enemy in the same way also bid farewell to its companions many children chase away anger a great evil spirit but they have a little love for the little children of anger which we discussed in the previous meditation and the previous vardans one aspect of anger is frustration irritation even a small aspect of getting or feeling sad about somebody saying something is of also a form of anger it's a very subtle form of anger because you can plan to take revenge you can think of what that person said and why that person is very bad even thinking that that person is very bad is a form of a violence from your mind and that can take the shape of anger in the future it cannot be seen through your words but can be felt through your thoughts so anger is so subtle god then says many children chase away anger a great evil spirit but they have a little love for the little children of anger just as everyone loves the little children in the same way everyone also loves the little children of anger so you may say that i've overcome anger but a little bit of irritation a little bit of frustration a little bit of don't disturb me or or please leave me alone is also a form of anger it's a frustration so god then says however you can only be said to be completely pure when no trace of any vice remains in you and that's the extreme stage the highest stage of 
spirituality which we are all working towards in attaining that highest level in Brahma Kumaris. And then God says, make such a firm vow for only then will you be said to be a true Brahmin. Now this is something which for a person who has not done the seven day course might feel, oh it's a very big task. But it starts with the first step for everybody. First step is to feel the love for self, to be connected to the self, to understand how does it feel, to feel lighter in peace and happiness. And then when you have that energy within you to face the other bigger problems like lust, anger, greed, ego, jealousy, that's where you have that energy and then you can start on to that journey. But the first step is to be connected to the self and feel that love and the peace for self. And then the other things can come. First charge your battery a little bit, then put on your phone. So how do you do that is what we learn in every day's blessing and every day's class at Brahmakumari Spiritual University. It could be very close to you. It could be somewhere in your own city. I'm sure about it. Or otherwise, if you want to learn more about it, you can join the Saturday sessions from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. on a daily Saturday event. With this, Om Shanti.